Presently, should you try out creatures or scenario in Roblox? Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox Jet Set. Today we'll talk about if you should try out creatures or scenario in Roblox. Let's head into it. Number 1. Creatures A pond of drinking water is nearby, with a passageway leading up to the underwater caverns beneath. Because of the quantity of berries, this location is ideal for plant-eating critters. Here are some of the reasons why you should try out this new game. Number 2. Hot Springs There is a hot springs region in the southeast portion of the island, south of the desert that leads up to the snowy Scenarian Hills. Residents of Scenaria have been seen relaxing and sipping from these warm pools of water. As a herbivore, there is also plenty of vegetation to eat. Number 3. Swamp A huge swamp land may be seen on the island's western side, a cluster of ponds and towering cryptorous trees among little shrubs that can be used as a hiding place for predators and a prey equally can be found within. A lot of ponds have tunnels that lead to the ocean and can be used for speedy transit. The swamp is scattered with logs, lily pads, and several other types of flora, while vines surround the hanging trees. Due to the denseness of the treetops, flying species have a difficult time hunting in this location. Number 4. Redwoods The redwoods of Sonaria, located near the swamp, are a carnivorous woodland with a marsh to the south. A number of rocky outcrops dot the interior of the forest, which is dotted with huge lakes and ponds. Number 5. Plains Sonaria's eastern region is much more hilly than the rest, with a network of caves and tunnels filled with brilliant orange crystals and fresh water sources. Aside from caverns, this region is home to a variety of unusual rock formations. Strong air currents can be found in the heavens above, and their effects are to briefly increase a creature's flight speed. Number 6. Desert Oasis The desert oasis is located in the southeast corner of the island. This area is abundant in berries and other fauna, as well as a variety of tunnel systems and tunnels for smaller animals to use. There are numerous sources of water, and both player and non-player species abound. The layers of sheltering rock formations overlooking the dunes distinguish this region. Number 7. Dune The dunes are located on the fringes of the desert oasis, and there isn't much there but a large watering hole in the center with a large rock arch spanning over it and some nearby flora. Flyers rock as well as a massive cave can be seen nearby. Number 8. Flower Caves The flower cove located near the desert is seen by some as a kind of Eden. A broad range of vegetation thrives in the area, which also has a source of fresh water, teeming with non-player organisms, but it's also a viable habitat for carnivorous species. This location is mostly engulfed by a vast cave-like creation of stone with several aspects of entry at ground level and sprinkled atop the rocky ceiling despite its size. Number 9. Volcano Basalt covers the western half of the island, with a massive cinder cone volcano dominating the terrain. Its basalt and grass cliffs are adorned with a plethora of berry bushes and trees. A little cove with crystals and a lake are also located there. In game, the volcano remains dormant until the 8th summer, when traumatic music will begin to play and molten lava will shoot forth, leaving meteors of igneous rocks to decorate the sky and area around it. To avert certain death, creatures are urged to seek sanctuary under huge constructors, caverns, or underwater. When the music stops and the volcano goes dormant, the event is over. Number 10. Tundra Massive mountains and snow cover the tundra, which is surrounded on all sides by floating rocks. It is located to the west of the hot springs. Because of the harsh climate, trees and other plant life are generally absent. There are a few caves in the area. Many of Sonaria's aquatic species can be found in the massive expanse of water, except for a few underwater plants and fish here and there, as well as tunnels leading to ponds and lakes, it's basically deserted. Ocean is presently not being rebuilt or added until mesh water is introduced, which will allow the game to have additional features. Conclusion There are many things to like about Creatures of Sonaria, from the maps to the creatures and other exciting levels and quests. So if you want to try something other than Adopt Me or any other famous games in Roblox, then you should definitely give Creatures of Sonaria a try. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.